in ancient Thyatira, Revelation chapter 2, 18 through I think 27. Don't quote me on that. My brain's a little blurry still on jet lag. Right now, this archaeological dig is very small. Absolutely the smallest that we've been to so far. Hopefully, over the years, they'll continue to work it out. But you literally can see, I mean, this is it. I'm standing in, you know, goodness, smaller than a football field. So there are some ancient arches. We think maybe this is where some shops would have been, but clearly the city would have been a further sprawled out of this. But a couple of interesting things about this city where we are. This is the place that Lydia came from. She was Lydia of Thyatira. We read about in Acts chapter 16. Uh, the, the seller of purple. She was really a very successful businesswoman. Uh, she was a God-fearing woman. You remember Paul met her down by the river with some other ladies. And she really became like the financial benefactor for much of Paul's ministry in the early church. So Lydia was born here. Uh, I did learn something interesting today. I, I'll be confessing. I'm I'm repeating what I was just told by our guide. I would need to fact check to this. He said uh, the purple in this area came from a tree root that they would soak in water, pound, and the more they compressed it in the water, the more the color drew out into a deep, dark color that he said actually is a little more, kind of more to the burgundy shade than what we would call purple but i need to fact check that but i'm just i'm learning too so i'm sharing you what i just heard but take it with a grain of salt but it, it is interesting and it kind of makes sense more importantly though related to the church of revelation thyatira revelation chapter 2 verses 18 through about 27 here god spoke through john as he wrote the letter warning them well first he encourages them he encourages them um, for their love but they loved really well they were in fact they were the opposite of ephesus ephesus uh, was strong in orthodoxy and weak in love well here they were strong in love and weak in orthodoxy meaning uh, they had a deep heart of love but very much a sense of freedom and margin very little emphasis on the purity and integrity of the gospel and therefore easily led astray by Jezebel or the spirit of Jezebel. Maybe there was a person here named Jezebel or a, or a woman who um, taught wrongly that led them toward practice of sexual immorality, eating food offers to idols. And the, the, the interesting word, we'll study this more in our sermon, is... Uh, it was the tolerance of that in the church. What a warning that is for us. Do we tolerate continually? Do we immerse ourselves in unholy living to the point that it waters down the gospel? We lose our witness. Very vivid warning that I would argue or at least encourage us to think is a very real problem in our church today. It was it's definitely a very real problem here in Thyatira. Revelation chapter 2, beginning in verse 18. And Lydia, very significant home for her. 